live. This is 8 News Now at 11. Authorities say a 23-year-old man has been arrested for plotting a white supremacist attack right here in Las Vegas. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. FBI agents say Connor Climel told them he hated blacks, Jewish people, and the LGBTQ community. They do believe he was planning an attack on Fremont Street at a local synagogue. News Now reporter Shakela Alvaranga explains how police were able to stop it. Well, Brian and Denise, Connor Climo was allegedly a member of the group Adam Waffen Division. It consists of mostly white men between the ages of 16 and 30 who all believe in the superiority of the white race. They also encourage these types of attacks. The Anti-Defamation League gave us these photos of Connor Climo, a suspected white supremacist in Las Vegas. We need to stay abreast of it and be aware that white supremacy is real um, and that we are not immune to it in any way. According to police, bomb-making materials were found at Climo's home near Elkhorn Road and Tule Springs following a joint terrorism investigation. No one answered the door when we were there Friday. There was just nothing that was immediate like oh I think I need we need to do something or or watch out you know I'd see him out there playing with his nephew and you know it just I just didn't didn't get that. Climo's next door neighbor said he never noticed anything alarming. It's tough to really get to know someone with you know, the interactions that we had. Jolie Brislin, the regional director of the Anti-Defamation League, has been working with the FBI. There's more murders being committed by white supremacists and extremists than anybody else. And so we need to be educated. We need to make sure that our law enforcement has all the data and the information and the knowledge to be able to combat this type of hate. Police say Climo spoke of attacking a LGBTQ bar downtown and a local synagogue on an online encrypted chat application with an FBI. FBI confidential. In a statement, the U.S. Attorney's Office said threats of violence motivated by hate and intended to intimidate or coerce our faith based and LGBTQ communities have no place in this country. Climo is being held on a charge of possession of an unregistered firearm. He is facing a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Denise. 